logging their frustrations. Members of the new Social Economic Environmental Forestry Association, or CIFA, demanding direct intervention from the Taoiseach over the delay in licences being given to fell and replant commercial trees. They say it is having a direct impact on jobs, the economy and environment. At a 15-acre forest in County Wicklow, Morris Ryan from Greenbelt, which manages forests around the country, says they have been granted a licence to fell the trees here, but not to access the land to harvest the timber. The application for the road licence is stuck in the system. The lack of supply of, of timber material going to Irish sawmills and wood, pro wood processors. So as a result, everything from fencing products through to construction timber is now double the price than it was and even more. Uh, it's just not available from an Irish perspective. So it's, it's hitting everybody in the pocket. Morris joined colleagues from the forestry industry at the Dáil who are frustrated. Because they are not issuing the licence to us, we cannot trade. People cannot plant land. Farmers cannot manage their crops. We cannot harvest the timber that's available in this Ireland, in this land, to make it available to the people that want to build homes. Hence, the people that want to build homes are paying more for the timber than they need to. But this has a huge impact on the wider society as well. We have inflated prices on timber currently because of the shortage of timber and we're having to import it. And like we have COP26 going on at the moment, but we have COP out going on with the department. Protesters say that if the issues around the delays to licensing isn't resolved to allow them access to forests like these, to fell and to thin trees, that they will be protesting again. They warn that this time it could be more disruptive. Maggie Doyle, RTE News, County Wicklow.